there's another piece of the puzzle that's needed, or there's another foot that still hasn't dropped, which is how does Israel lead in this situation? What message are we sending, not just to other Jews in the world, but to people all around the world? One of the things that I think is a millionfold more the case now than was in 67, and it was already significantly the case in 67, is that the whole world is watching because the whole world can watch something now in real time. Uh, the degree to which everything is connected to everything now, uh, by comparison to 67, where you know you just looked at the New York Times every morning to find out what was going on uh, and didn't have a lot of updates in between, unless you yourself were sort of on the teletype wire or whatever, uh, the degree to which Israel is now on a world stage uh, in a way that never could have been imaginable to anyone a few hundred years ago certainly presents a tremendous opportunity for how Israel responds in the situation to matter, both to how Jews looking on react and to how other people all over the world, the other nations of the world react. Uh, both with respect to our carrying the banner of Hashem's name in the world and also with respect to teaching the world something about what Hashem's Torah expects of us, right? That if Israel is willing enough to stand up and say, we're going to deal with this situation according to our Torah, and by doing so, we will teach the world what is right rather than trying to listen to the nonsense that they're spewing about how we can't do this and we can't do that because of rules that they've made for us about how we're allowed to fight wars. If instead Israel were to say, this is an opportunity to teach the rest of humanity about Hashem's Torah, which really is for all of them to learn something from, right? That's the role that our Nevi'im actually envisioned for us. Um, a nation of priests that are meant to be in this role of learning about Hashem and helping the world to learn about Him as well. If we take that opportunity, then I think Akados Baruch Hu uh, most certainly will appreciate the the impact and you know sort of promote the impact of that step. Um, and in a sense, you might say maybe he's teed things up for for that exact opportunity, right? Like he's this this is a, a way in which Am Yisrael have been obviously on the world stage never like like never before in history. Um, and this is an unprecedented chance to have the microphone uh, and, and speak to everyone. Uh, and that ultimately, I think, whereas in 67, I think we, we typically think about, about its effect on the Jewish world, that there were people, there were Jews in Brooklyn who cared a lot about Israel. They saw this happen. They were inspired. They were changed. You know, they went and made Aliyah or whatever. Um, because this struck them, uh, this struck a chord with them. This is now a moment when the whole world can see that we are Hashem's people and Hashem put his name on us. Uh, and he's therefore not, as I said, going to tolerate his name being dragged through the mud forever. This could be the moment for the most visible and memorable demonstration that we are Hashem's people and he ultimately is with us and in ways that demonstrate his might and demonstrate his capacity to perform wonders. That has happened in modern history, certainly, that in some sense has ever happened. I mean, you could say maybe Yitzhak Mitzrayim, the Torah is telling us nothing can ever compete with that. Um, and in one sense, that may be true. But to, with technology being what it is, one can't help but feel like the last 2,000 years have been preparing us for this moment.